Yo, I want to welcome all y'all to the best Madden 19 tips and trips channel where you will be able to dominate on offense, send the fast blitzes on defense, make your opponent rage quit and send you nasty messages or either beg for you to quit out the game. I also do custom schemes if you play regs, so hit your boy up, follow the link in the description to get all the ebooks and you will become an exclusive member. Welcome to the Clamp Squad. What's up gamers, today we're going to go over my key tips to be able to shut the run down more effectively and force your opponent to pass the ball if you can see on the right side i got a stacking method that's what i always do to utilize run stopping defense because i know if i shoot the gap and somebody picks me up it's gonna leave somebody free i shoot through the gap right there we get a block shed on the left side and then we get a free guy on the right side so if it's a run type of situation with two wide receivers or two tight ends or something like that you want to come out and cover three and cover four i'm gonna say it again you want to come out and cover three or cover four and you can also utilize man coverage but that leaves you vulnerable so i like to have the stacking method and then to stop the tosses i like to never user the person hovering so if you setting up blitzes and you like to hover and they hit you with a toss, you will get picked up if they ID somebody anywhere in the area around you. So if you know that they like to run the ball, don't use the hover method. Use somebody away from the ball so you can diagnose what the play is. Is it a real run? Is it a play action? And then you go to the outside and make sure that you don't over pursue so you can cut back. We also going to go over the pass off method. This is very important where your zone is you can see me hovering i'm playing two receivers at one time that lets the block sheds get there more pressure to get to the quarterback because you always got to take away the first read i'm running with him for about two or three seconds and then i pass him off if you have a good defense like my top 50 to 100 weekend league defensive scheme you will always get pressure in three to four seconds they won't have a lot of time to throw the ball because i gave them a key tip to be able to get the block sheds and all that type of stuff faster so you can see the tight end didn't streak so it was no reason for me to keep following him so i just ran off to another route now he has to pass the ball or get a sack and it puts me in a better position because I didn't follow that tight end all the way to the right side of the field knowing that it's already three more zones over there. You can see me following. I'm able to play two receivers. If they come into my area, that's my responsibility. And you can see lurk after lurk after lurk. Get the top 50 to 100 weekend league package and let me make it easier for y'all with all the full schemes and adjustments exactly what to do and if the quarterback and you playing full coverage, I gave you a key on how to make the block sheds be better. Let's go.